Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to a uh, just a quick tutorial on how to set up your own Space Station 13 server. This isn't really a tutorial I would recommend for people who are looking for a tutorial that's going to take them through absolutely everything to setting up a, like a really good server. But this will teach you how to at least set up your own local server and if you know how to port forward, it'll also teach you how to set up a server that your friends can join. Now, I can't teach everyone how to port forward because everyone's router is different, so I can't really go through the process of port forwarding because I'd have to do it for every single router out there. So, First, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this GitHub link, which I'll have in the description, and click Download Zip right here. So that's going to download, and you're going to have a bunch of files inside of this zip. And you're going to want to create a folder for the TG station which is going to be uh, the flavor of Space Station 13, if you will, that we're going to be working with and my favorite uh, branch of Space Station 13, personally. We're just going to drag all these files into the, the TG folder and we're just going to wait for that to extract, wait for that to move. Shouldn't take too long, in fact it'll probably be faster on your computer because you probably have a better hard drive than me, but wait for that to finish and then you can just go ahead and double click tgstation.dme at the bottom and if it doesn't let you left click it all you have to do is open up dream maker right here and then just go file open so we're just gonna click build compile or you can do control K and we're gonna wait for that to finish this process does take a while but what we're doing right now is the DME right here is the basically like the source code for TG Station, and we need to compile it into a file that can actually be ran in, as a server. So I'm gonna um, finish this. I'm gonna start recording again once this is finished. All right. So it looks like uh, it just finished, and you can see it created the DMB file. So right here we have the new DMB file, which is the compiled server now. And what you can do is you can uh, open up the Dream Daemon by just searching for it. Or what you can do is just uh, double click it here. I think that'll work. Um, actually, you know, it would actually probably be a lot better if you guys didn't double click it. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay, hold on. Okay, so whatever you do, do, do not double click that. Just uh, search for Dream Daemon go to file open and then locate the folder in which the DMB is located and just click open you can set your port here security keep that on safe visibility public private invisible your choice and oh before we put up the server what we're actually going to want to do is go to the config and what we can do here is go to the admins we got a big list of people who we don't want to be admins. Well, maybe you do. I don't. I personally don't. I don't know any of these people. But I, w one thing you want to do for sure is set yourself up as game master in the admins.txt, which is just just located in the config folder. It's easy to find. Another thing that you might want to do is just go to the normal config, and here you can uh, set up your server name right here. And all you have to do is just remove the. Uh, pound sign before it to make sure that it works. And there's also some other options in here you can look through if you really care. I personally don't care, so I'm not going to look through them right now. So now that we have Dream Daemon all opened up and ready to go, we can uh, start that up by pressing go. And it's probably going to stop responding uh, after you immediately click it. That's no big deal. It'll start responding eventually. It usually takes a little bit though. Okay, so I had to use a different port because 420 was already in use. You can see up here it shows how long the server has been up. And down here, you can see um, that's the IP that it wants you to connect to. However, if we try to connect to the IP that it gives us, which is my external IP address on the port, it's not going to work. It's just going to sit there at connecting. and if it even takes a second to connect, you know that it's not working correctly because 
it's on your own. It's you're hosting the server yourself, so it should connect instantly. What you need to do is put 127 in the IP area, not the port. Like, put all this stuff before the colon. 127.0.0.1. Instead of uh, the IP that it gives you here, we're going to get rid of this 98.208.81.21 or, or 218 and replace it with the just this, which is means local host. And if you press enter on that, it connects instantly. And then uh, there you go, you have your own uh, server. Now, this is only for you to connect to. Other people aren't going to be able to connect to the 127. Other people are going to have to connect to your external one, which is going to be this. So you, if you want people to connect to your server, you're going to want to use this at the bottom right here. And if it says that uh, the port can't be reached by players, this just means that you messed up somehow port forwarding or you have a firewall or the port's already in use, something like that. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you guys watch the next one. And uh, thanks for all like the supporters and stuff. Like It's actually really surprising how many people support what I'm doing and how many people actually watch my videos. And it means a lot to me. So uh, thanks, guys, and uh, talk to you later.